One of the central features of Wang Liping's internal alchemy practice is something called body pore breathing. Pore breathing is a, is a profound practice we use throughout the alchemical process, um, except for the later stages. So for the, um, the first and second phases, levels of the practice, we use it quite a bit. Um, and one of the things I love about pore breathing is it's a great introduction to the practice. It's a great way to build foundation, zhu uh, ji, for the practice. Um, but it's also, using the same technique and uh, modifying a bit, adding more complexity onto it, um, it can go very deep into actual internal alchemy. So in other words, what we're going to do today, which is basic pore breathing, is not internal alchemy or nadan proper. It's a, it's a foundational exercise for it. But later on, if you get the chance to do the actual internal alchemy, um, we use this process as well. Now, uh, pore breathing is a way of coordinating our, our awareness or our, or our attention, what we call in Chinese the yin yan, um, which is attention and intention together. Uh, we coordinate our yin yan, our awareness, and our breathing, and the physical body, so movement of the physical body. Um, and in this case, it's a contraction and expansion. So generally in internal alchemy, when we want to get things going, there's often a coordinating of those three things. Um, we, don't, we won't use any visualization with this technique, um, nor do we often use visualization in, in what I teach. Um, but those three, will, 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 I'll show you how we can put those together to get some interesting re results. So pore breathing, so pores, why pores, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's the boundary of the human universe, right? If, if we look at the, the pores on our body, uh, it's basically just the skin, right? Um, through our whole body, uh, they f it forms a boundary and a distinction between um, inner, and, uh, inner and outer, uh, the inside and outside. So it creates an inside, a, a, um, um, we create an inner universe for us to go into and do things inside. And, and poor breathing is a really wonderful way of, 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 of doing that, right? And we call that what is inside, we call it the personal human universe. Um, and uh, the, the Taoist figure, there are 84,000 body pores. Um, I, I don't think we need to take that quite literally. I, I haven't quite found all of mine yet. I, I haven't counted those, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just a way of, of, of saying there's a lot, right? And, and we need to, when we do this exercise, first thing we need to do is focus on all of the body pores. So I should back up a little bit. Generally, when we do this practice, we will be doing it in cross-legged sitting meditation, um, as we do most of our internal alchemy practice in this lineage. You can also do it standing, walking, or in the supine position. But sitting is, it allows us to go, to go the deepest and the furthest with the practice. Um, so I recommend sitting, you, sitting um, posture. So you get into a normal um, sitting, cross-legged sitting meditation. Uh, you can try it in a chair. You won't quite get the same benefit, but uh, give it a try. Um, so we go into meditation posture. Now, if you're not, if you've never done that, if you've never, if you've never done a cross-legged meditation posture, then this video might not be for you. I'm, I'm sort of, I'm uh, presupposing that you've already uh, done, you've had some experience already with, with meditation or with sitting practice. Um, if not, eh, you can still give it a try. I mean, nothing bad's gonna happen, right? I'm not the, the body poor police or anything. You're welcome to, <laughs> you're welcome to give it a try. Um, but just know that there is very specific postural requirements, which, uh, which we'll use. Um, and uh, as with our, most of our cross-legged sitting, we'll, the, the mouth is closed, the teeth are lightly touching, and the tongue touches the upper palate. Um, eyes are closed, um, and spine is straight, but we're relaxed down onto the sit bones. Right? And so to begin um, a session of body pore breathing, 
it's best to take five to 10 minutes to get into the zone. And what I mean by that is regulate mind and body to become still, right? So get into the body, um, focus on the body. And you can do that by just focusing on, on the, outer, um, the outer form of your body. And that's where the body pores are, so that's where we're gonna be doing the work. You could also do, you could also focus on your breathing. So notice the natural breathing inside your body. And you could regulate the breathing to be um, to be even, fine, even, and long. Uh, and then you, once you're in the zone and your eyes are closed and you're focusing on the body pores, then we can start the actual body pore breathing. And it goes like this. These are the guided instructions. They're very simple. Um, breathe in. Body pores contract inwards. Breathe out. Body pores expand outwards. And you repeat. Breathe in, body pores contract. Breathe out, body pores expand. And you just do that following your breath, right? So whatever, however long that breath is, is okay. Um, so what does it mean by body pores contract? Are we going around to, you know, each of the 84,000 body pores and, you know, contracting each one individually? Um, I'm not. <laughs> uh, you don't need to, no. Uh, what it is, is you're setting up a contraction and an expansion with the surface of the skin of the body and beginning to subtly and, and in a very relaxed way contract and expand the physical body with our breathing. And you'll notice that when we breathe in, we contract. When we breathe out, we expand or release. Release, you might, release is another word that works very well. Um, it, it's just a relaxing and a releasing back to its normal shape, right? And so that's a reverse way of breathing. Usually when we breathe in, um, the chest and the belly expands and we breathe out, it contracts, right? But this is a little different. So we're breathing in and contracting, breathing out and expanding. Now you don't need to contract the musculature, musculature of the body too much, right? It's a very, very subtle, almost just awareness, right? Almost just using your, your intention to contract and expand the whole body, so the legs, feet, um, the butt, the back, you know, top of the head, everything, the chest, contract and expand with the breathing, contract and expand. And it's best to start very light, right? And along with that contraction and expansion, there is, uh, we're bringing chi and our awareness through the body pores into the body. So we're bringing the chi, the pre-heaven celestial, pre-heaven original chi, xian tian yuan chi, from our environment, from our surroundings into the body. Um, and then when we breathe out, we're expanding, we're releasing, and there's, we're releasing turbid qi, uh, zhuo qi, from inside the body, through our body pores into the surroundings. And so on a really basic level, it's a great way of just cleaning out the body. It's like if you've been in a room that's, uh, that's a little stale, uh, the doors and windows have been shut for a long time, and it's dusty and stale inside, and you, all of a sudden you, you, know, you throw open the windows, open the door, get some fresh air in there, it's like doing that for the body. Um, and at the same time, it will be sealing the body. It's, it's, it's a, a contradiction, a paradox, but the qi will be going in and out of the body, but our, um, our shirshen will be sealed inside the body. That's, uh, I'm, not, I'll, 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 I'm gonna skirt around that issue, we can save that for another video. But it's a way of xiu uh, lo, of, of creating a, uh, a body with no energetic leakages. Right? By, because we're focusing on all the body pores everywhere. Um, and the three lower yin gates at the bottom of the, bo of the torso, we want to seal those as well. Um, but at the same time, we're, we're allowing qi to, 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 to move between the inner and the outer. And this, when we get that part right, we actually, body pore breathing actually becomes um, a canon Lee practice. It becomes um, a fusion of fusing yin and yang, right? Yin and yang fusion practice. Um, but it takes a little. It takes a little time to get there. 
uh, and we're bringing yang chi in and yin chi is inside our body and we're, we're releasing that out but we also later on we can bring yang chi and yin and the yin chi to meet and connect and interact and and uh, and uh, exchange right um, after you have oh that's right when you first practice it you can do 24 breaths that's a good a good number you can just count it um, breathe in and out contract and expand uh, and then after the 24 breaths you can then go into stillness so just return to natural breathing and just keep our awareness and our shen our spirit inside the body and just see what happens. You can, keep the, the, you can keep the awareness on the body parts if you want. See what happens there. See if there's anything that happens inside the torso. Um, and, just, and just sit, observe. And go into a more um, wu-wei state of, state of practicing. And you can, you can maintain that for as long as you like. Go for, go for you know, half hour, hour, a few hours if you want, right? Um, and then bring your practice to a close. Um, it's also it's nice to end with an out breath where you re you've released the body and the body is relaxed you're not holding any tension and then just allow allow things to happen right just observe inside um, call out bathing and cleansing right yeah yeah okay well go give it a try the best way to learn is to practice and uh, if you uh, if you have any questions, you're welcome to use the, the, the comment section um, for the channel um, and, uh, and let me know how, how, it, how it works for you. Okay, take care.